Sports Authority with Michael Gross. Good morning. The Evansville Thunderbolts hosted the Birmingham Bulls in Game 2 of the first round of the SPHL playoffs last night. Their one and only aim, force a Game 3 for a chance to win their first playoff series in franchise history. The 10 to Ford Center pulls up 1-0 out of the gate. Evansville still on their heels. But Cole Chechi between the sticks keeps the puck out of the net as it goes cross crease and hits the post. He would continue to stand on his head, stop the original shot, and the rebound sprawling out on the ice. Second period, teammates providing the offense. Harrogate puts the puck on towards net. Loose in the slot in. Mark Jukov puts it top corner. Grandma hides the good stuff. We go to overtime. One goal wins it. Bolts on the power play. D to D. Chase Ruddy from the blue line. Shoots and scores. That'll do it. Thunderbolts win it in overtime. Two to one. They force a game three in Birmingham tomorrow. Colin Davies was at Ford Center with more. Playoff overtime hockey is known for its tension, especially for Evansville tonight when they knew that if they let in a goal in the fourth period that their season would be over. But instead, they scored it. And the team says that when their backs are against the wall, they know they'll respond. Yeah, I mean, our backs are against the wall, so obviously it's important to do the little things right, play defense first, stay, stay on the defensive side of the puck, and kind of just play hard. Uh, I think everybody did that to a tee, and we came out on top. Cole just stood on his head tonight, made the big saves when we needed to. The guys have confidence with him in the net. Chase Ruddy, you know, a big, strong defenseman, intimidating factor from him coming back from the East Coast Hockey League. Uh, we knew he was a great defender and uh, chipping in any kind of goals that he did, especially an overtime winner tonight. Uh, uh, is icing on the cake. And up next for the Thunderbolts, they'll be back on the road in Birmingham for the pivotal winner-take-all Game 5. Reporting from the Ford Center, I'm Colin Davies, Eyewitness News. We'll be back with more sports tonight at 9 and 10 following the 2024 Easter Seals Telethon. Enjoy your Friday, everyone.